Hello students, right now we are going to discuss about terms of credit. So dear students, in loan activity there is a terms of credit because when we are taking the loan we are providing the guarantee papers, the security against the loan. Unless we provide the security against the loans, the loans is not going to be approved. And when we are taking the loans, we are going to pay the certain interest rate against the principal amount which we have taken from the lender. So when we are taking the loan amount from this lender, we have a security deposits and the security deposits is given it is as a guarantee towards the principal amount or towards the loans which we have taken from the informal sectors as well as from the formal sectors so dear students the uh, terms of credit it is a set of conditions which the loan is given so the terms of credit which is including the method of payment that is such as the rate of interest the durations of credit and other related conditions so here the interest rate the collateral the documentations all these are very essentials and the mode of repay re repayment all these are comprising the terms of credit so dear students what is called terms of credit the terms of credit it is including the interest rate the collateral collateral means different kind of assets which we are providing to the lender the documentations all these requirements as well as the mode of repayment all these are comprising the terms of credit so here the terms of credit which may differ according to the nature of the lender as well as the borrower so here how the terms of credit which is going to have differs here because it is differing from where we are going to take the loan whether we are going to take loan from the informal sectors or as well as from the formal sectors all these things are differing uh, here so what is called collateral here so dear students the collaterals which is very important and it is provided during the time of taking loan here so what is basically collateral collateral it is including the assets that the borrower owns as land building vehicle then the livestock and deposits with the banks all these are coming under the category of collateral so why we are producing collateral we are producing as a security to the lender and the lender when they receive the collateral then only they are providing the loan here so what is what are the things which are coming under the category of collateral it is an asset the borrowers who used to take that is the land the building the vehicle the livestock the deposits with the bank so here the borrower they used to provide to the lender as a security deposits so here when we have not paid the loan till all the collateral has to have deposit in the lender so the lender will keep all these assets as a guarantee how and why because if the borrower fails to repay the loan then the lender has a right to sell the asset and they will try to obtain the payment here they will take all this collector collateral as a recovery process because since they have 
paid the amount so to recover the loan amount they will sell the asset and they will obtain the loan amount from this borrower so dear students the terms of credit which is very very important in loan activities without the terms of credit without the collateral without the documentations without the mode of repayment the loan is not going to be approved here so as we see that there are two sectors uh, basically uh, the informal sectors or the formal sector and from this informal sector and formal sectors the people are going to obtain the loan here so in both sectors the terms of credit the collateral all these are very important and it is produced before the lender and only after producing all these terms of credit all these conditions of the loan the loan is going to be sanctioned and going to be approved unless we have provided all these conditions the loan is not going to be approved thank you so much for listening to me